What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a, a little different. We're not gonna really be writing any code, but we're gonna be talking about screenshots for your apps in the App Store, uh, obviously, like you can tell from the title of this video. So before we get into the swing of things, make sure you destroy the like button as per usual. Make sure you uh, hit subscribe if you are a returning viewer and all that good stuff. And you can go ahead and open up a browser of your choice since we're gonna spend our time in, uh, on different websites. So that said, let's get into the video. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. Okay, cool. So here I am on the uh, App Store page for TikTok and you can see that they've got some pretty cool looking screenshots here. They've got some text uh, on each screenshot. They've got a pretty nifty background and obviously the screenshot itself. Here I've got Waterminder, pretty popular app as well with uh, similar screenshots in the sense of they've got a background, they showcase the phone and some text. And then finally, I've got Spotify and these guys take it even a little further where they've got these things going on over here, which isn't really even a screenshot, but more so uh, marketing materials. And again, they've got uh, the phone, the background and text. So obviously it's apparent that having a screenshot, which is not just a screenshot, but the device, the screenshot of your app, the some text that's uh, you know describing it in a background plays well uh, and converts well uh, into more user downloads. So back in the day, you would have to go and Photoshop these or use some other tool, um, either by Adobe or by anybody else to put these together and it was kind of a pain. Now there's a tool, there's several tools rather, but I'm gonna show you guys a tool where you can create these totally for free, a bunch of different styles. Uh, you can do gradients, images, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna open up a tab and go to appmockup.com. And what's interesting is, what's rather funny is they, I think, redesigned this website literally yesterday. So I went to this today and I was like, huh, this looks different. But basically this website has a ton of free templates and you can customize everything from the device frame, from, uh, you know, backgrounds, they've got templates, orientation, text, style, you name it, they can, they can do it. And uh, I would say about 99% of this is free. I think they have some paid options. Uh, I think I, I've seen a donate button here and there, but you know, uh, I'll also mention this video is not sponsored at all. This is a tool that I just personally use and I think it's like extremely well built. Um, and I've actually personally donated to the dev behind this because this is a ton of work and Pretty amazing. So that whole spiel aside, let's go ahead and hit start and let's see what we actually get. So before it used to actually be a bit of a different UI, but now you're greeted with this. So you pick basically what device. So obviously this is iOS Academy. So um, it would be a miss if I had Android here. So we're going to stick with iOS device and it gets started with this template thing looking here. So basically we've got uh, some text, some subtitle text, a screenshot, and uh, we can, of course, come in here and uh, add new screenshots and we can edit each of these. And let me actually, so I've got a simulator open here, just, just to the home screen, and I'm just going to hit Command S to grab a screenshot of it. And we're going to be using that screenshot to uh, design this a little bit and see all the things we can do. So bear with me because I have not actually used this new UI personally. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure out how to do it together. So let's see, we've got some uh, reset options, preview full, we've got a background type. Of course, you can use an image gradient or um, a solid color. I'm not sure what a panoramic is. I assume this is gonna have a gradient across all of the images. Um, and of course, when we actually select a given screen, it looks like the options popped up over here, but let me select this again, let's do background color. Let's use a solid color. 
And let's see what else we can do over here. So we've got layout, background. Let's go to background here and let's change this to be, uh, let's do like a nice blue. And you can actually see that changing, of course, in real time. And actually, before we even continue designing this a little bit more, one other cool thing I'll call out is they used to have templates. So let me see where they move them uh, right here. So you can go to templates and like, look at these templates. These are pretty amazing templates uh, and they save you so much time. Um, and I'm 99% sure actually these are all the free ones and they've got basically all the popular apps. They Spotify somewhere hidden in here. They've got, uh, you know, the Apple Music one. They have different gradients, different styles. And actually it looks like they just added new categories too. Let's see if we can load these. Looks like they're all zero for now. So maybe they have a plan to add more as they go on. That's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and select, um, let's steal this Apple Music one since it looks pretty cool. So let's see, Apple Music, you have unsaved screenshots. Are you sure? Sure, let's go ahead and get rid of those. All right, let's select those. It's gonna take some time and boom, there you go. So now let's go ahead and pick this and let's go ahead and add some screenshots. So, whoops, looks like it zoomed in there. So if I select this and Let's see, preview full, we're gonna say download type, or rather background type is the same. How do we get that menu to pop up here? Select a screenshot, okay, there we go. So you actually click in the screenshot itself. Cool, so how do you get the background image? Um, so let's see, we have device here. There's a screen, there's a frame. Uh, I would assume the screen is the screenshot. This device only, all devices. This device only. All right, so we get this opened up. We're gonna select our screenshot. I will go ahead and add it. And there we go, there's our screenshot. So slightly misleading that they call the screen here, but that's essentially your uh, screenshot. So uh, one other thing I'll call out is uh, you used to be able to pick the device you're uploading it for. So let me see where that option went. Um, device two. Not sure if this is what we are looking for. So let's see, device two, you can turn it on or off. Looks like we don't want that. It's an overlaying device. But anyways, there used to be an option here. I'm sure it's hidden somewhere and I just can't find it right now where you can uh, basically add another uh, screenshot. So here, add, we don't want another device. So you used to be able to uh, upload things like for an iPhone 8, an iPad and all of that. So I think it probably moved it under, uh, maybe we just gotta hit this plus button here. Uh, there's alignment, this, we don't want alignment. We have the device. I don't wanna waste too much of your guys' time. Uh, point being, play around with this. There should be a way to add additional devices. They certainly moved it. But once you're done with all of this, um, we can go ahead and export these. So. Uh, there's contribute, obviously, if you want to donate, you don't have to. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit save. And we're going to hit either design or the design with images. We want the images, of course, in this case. And it just downloads it just like that. So you can see that it's actually in this dot mockup format, which I think we actually just saved the uh, actual template that we've created here. So next time you want to come back and, you know, uh, get to the starting point so you don't lose your screenshots. Let's say you have an app update. You can do that fairly quickly. Let's say they've got devices here. Ah, there we go. So you can actually uh, change the device here, it looks like. So there's device one, and then you can go ahead and uh, change these somehow. But anyways, uh, let's see how to export. So we've got panoramic here, we've got preview, we've got export. If we take a look at preview, this is what it's gonna look like on the App Store. This is actually a new feature. I have not seen this preview thing before. So it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hit export and see what options we have. So here is the app name. Uh, you can set a category. We're gonna leave that empty. App is available for iOS. That's true, obviously. And app is available for Android. We're gonna say no. And let's see, what do we do next? Let's go ahead and hit export screenshots. It looks like it's working there. And if I'm not mistaken, it'll just download them once it's good to go. So it just downloaded them right here. It's a zip file. Let me drag that to my desktop. 
here it's going to ask you for a donation. Uh, you know, this website is not annoying at all about donations, considering the value that it provides. Go ahead and double click this zip file, this bottom left of my screen. Let's open this up and let's see what we get. So we've got an iPad Pro, uh, 11 Pro Max, 8 Plus. So these are probably all going to be empty because we didn't add these relevant screenshots. But if you guys can find how to add uh, you know, different device images, you can in fact uh, do all these in one shot. You just need to add the different dimensions of screenshots. But if we open up the 11 Pro Max, here's the one that we did add a screenshot for. And right there you can see this is the screenshot you can actually upload directly to the App Store. Uh, Apps for Connect uh, will not complain about the size or anything like that. Uh, there's no issue of that nature. You don't need to uh, you know, go and resize anything. The, the website does it all for you. So that's really it. This video is going to go longer than I anticipated, but there's so many cool things in this tool. Uh, highly encourage you guys to take a look at it and contribute if you can. Once again, not sponsored at all. Um, one thing we can try really quick before I wrap up here is we have this mock-up file. Let me get rid of this downloaded zip. But we've got this mock-up file that it looks like we got from this website. So let's say we came back um, to this website. Let's see if we wanted to go ahead and load it. So I would assume we would click load and then we can just double click this dot mockup and boom, just like that, it loads in your prior screen uh, screenshots. So that includes the image here as well as uh, the text and all that good stuff. And I'm curious to know actually, if I go to the device and get rid of the screenshot and um, Let's see, get rid of it for all devices. And then if I load it again, I have a feeling that mock-up file also includes our, not just the design, but uh, the screenshot as well. So if we bring that in, yeah, it does, which is pretty darn awesome. So you can actually create your screenshots and then save this dot mockup file into your project folder. And whenever you make an app update, you can literally bring this back in, tweak it, download, and you're all set and good to go. So. That all said, I'm going to stop going all my spiel, otherwise I'll talk about this forever. So make sure you hit that like button as per usual. Really helps out the video and the channel with the YouTube algorithm and whatnot. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, have been, you know, following along for these daily Swift videos. Curious to know if, how you guys make your screenshots. Do you think this tool is cool? Do you find it useful? Do you use a different tool? Love to hear from you. Um, just say hi down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, I like interacting with each and every one of you. I still can't believe we're growing at the rate we are, and I think we're going to go pretty darn far. So that all said, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.